Hi Pisces, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Now let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Now if this reading resonates with you, give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how you resonated with the reading. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who's liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on youtube as well i am accepting personal reading so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me all you got to do is click on the link in the description box down below all right you have the three of cups the six of cups the death card the eight of swords the full card The Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Cups. All right. Underneath the deck, Pisces, is the Five of Cups. For some of you, you've been going through the last five months disappointed, sad, sorrowful. For some of you, you're going through depression. For some of you, you feel like you've been left alone even if you are currently in a connection. Take it out, resonates. Alright, but with the Three of Cups as the overall energy of your reading, Pisces. I want to confirm this for those who really are really looking for a confirmation and those of you who who feel it who are, who are already feeling it but for some reason you want a confirmation I have to say I am dealing I am connecting to a Pisces who is in a third party situation Third party doesn't always mean there's another person involved. It could be work, it could be friends, it could be vices, habits, I don't know, money, take it out resonates, family. But yes, I am connecting to someone who is currently going through a third party situation. For some reason, The person you're connecting to, you are with, all right? You can reverse it if you feel that this is more of you. But with the Six of Cups and then the Fool card, this person met during Aries season, all right? During Aries season. But this is someone who was in their life before. Six of Cups, someone who was from their past, who came back in who wants to start again to restart the connection I'm getting someone who is committing to taking that risk if your person takes that risk In the last five months, you've been feeling alone. I'm getting someone who I have to say has been getting bored. Like they are looking for something new. And then it came during Aries season. I don't know who I'm connecting to. Anyway, you have the Death card and then the Eight of Cups. Could be connecting to a Scorpio, take care of resonates, but... You're thinking of walking away, of ending this suddenly, of walking away. Because... What's the use of waiting for someone who... 
doesn't completely commit to you. You have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Cups. For some of you, there's anxiety to the highest level. I have to say, it's driving you nuts. For some people, it's driving you nuts. The feeling of being left out in the cold. Why did this have to happen to me? Didn't I give him enough love? Wasn't I enough? Those thoughts keep on bugging you for quite some time. And it's wrong, Pisces. You are enough and you are worthy of the kind of love you want. The Nine of Cups. For some of you, you could be drinking. But you know what? A wish will be granted to you. Alright? You have the Six of Swords. The Seven of Cups. This will be your advice. And then the Nine of Swords. Underneath the deck is the Moon card. So, all information will be revealed to you. All right, or maybe have been has been revealed to you during the last full moon. Take it out how it resonates. But the six of swords, the seven of cups, and then the nine of swords. Anxiety. Should I move on? Should I stay? What are my options? You keep on hearing. You keep on thinking about those things. What will happen if I move on from the connection? What are my options? Do I have any options? You know, if you love yourself enough, you would move on. That's what I'm hearing. Alright? And then the Empress. Again, advice for you. You know you deserve the best. You will find someone who will see how beautiful and amazing you are. That you will be this person's Empress. Alright? Male, female. It's not really gender-specific reading. We're looking at the energies. All right, you have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you will be calling it your calling in your soulmate, and then wow, love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. I just said that. I just said that. Pisces. You have underneath you have sorry you have family room number 21 that is a world card in the tarot deck so you will be closing out the cycle for some of you. you could be traveling but again connection close family close family ties a family room maybe you find something in your family room i don't know for some reason i'm being directed to that then you have there's something better see pisces that is all i have for you i hope something in this reading resonated and if it did give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how you resonated with the reading i love you all so much i'll see you in the next reading stay blessed